As a defensive lineman, I really believe that you got to be one of the toughest guys on the football field. So what I want to do now is to take a little bit of time and not only go over the toughness that you have to have, but the technique that you have to go through in order to be successful on taking on these 280, 300 pound offensive linemen. Now the foundation for a defensive lineman is his stance. Okay, we're gonna build everything we do off of our football stance. Okay, so it's, it's the most important thing we're gonna talk about probably today. Now the first thing I wanna do is we wanna keep this very simple and you wanna be able to feel like you're in a comfortable position. But there are just a few basic guidelines that I want you to have uh, in order to get in this stance, and I think it'll make you a better football player. Okay, to start off, we want to be in just your basic football position to start off with, which is your, your feet are basically shoulder width apart, okay? Now, I've been taught, and I think it's best, and I've found as, as I switch from uh, left defensive end to right defensive end, which I do, uh, it's most beneficial for you to have your inside foot back, okay? So as I'm playing right defensive end, it's going to be beneficial for me to have my left foot back. And that uh, ties into some other things we'll talk about a little bit later. But I want you to learn, and sometimes it doesn't feel real comfortable. A lot of times when you get in your stance, uh, you know, you, you like to get down in a certain way. Like you want to get in your right-handed stance all the time. But what I want you all to do is, is to learn that if you're on the right side, you want your left hand down. If you're on the left side, you want your right hand down. The thing you want to remember is that when you put your hand down, you want that foot back. I've seen a lot of guys get up and they can't figure out which hand to have down. They'll have this hand back like that. The, the easy way to remember it is that you're in, or the hand you have down, that's the foot that's back. Okay, so I have my, my feet basically shoulder width apart, staggered, my inside foot back, you put your hand down. Okay, now at this, part, at this point, I basically want my arm to go directly down from my shoulder, okay? and down like this. Okay, now slightly have that arm a little bit forward. I guess you can have it straight down, but that doesn't feel real comfortable for me. So basically what I want is to have my hand out a little bit from my shoulder this way, but directly down from it, uh, coming straight down this way. Okay, another thing is a lot of people I know teach they can go down on their, feet or on their knuckles like this. Now I don't believe in that. Okay, we have to be quick as a defensive lineman, so I want you to get on your fingertips. Okay, so you can explode off with your fingers. If you're on your knuckles, it's a lot harder to come out of your stance, okay? So now we come down, we're on our fingertips. We've got our feet basically shoulder width apart. Inside foot back, I'm playing right defensive end now, so my inside foot's back. And I want my back basically flat, okay? Along my, my torso and my back this way. Basically want that flat, okay? And I got my head up, looking into the offensive lineman, right into his face. Okay, I basically concentrate on his face mask, okay? Now, I want this arm, a lot of people teach to have it or have their, their arm resting on their knee. Now, I don't think that's right. I think what you want is you want your hand out here, ready to go. So when the offensive lineman comes into you, you're ready to take him on. talk about now is engaging the blocker and we've got a big old offensive lineman here to help us and uh, basically what we're gonna do is get down in our stance and then talk about how we engage a blocker on a run block now we're defensing the run okay so this white line here is gonna be our line of scrimmage okay get down in your stance okay now I'm gonna I've talked a little bit last time about being in left-handed stance now I'm gonna get down in my right-handed stance my feet spread apart get my hand down now what I want to do is basically split this man's crotch okay my right foot is basically splitting his crotch now as i get down in the stance my eyes are focused right here on his face mask okay that's where my focus of attention is now out of the corner of my eye with my peripheral vision down here i'm looking and i can see the uh the ball down here okay but my focus is right here on this guy's face mask okay so i get down in my stance now what did i say about my hand i want it off my off my uh, knee here we got to have it ready to take this guy on, okay? The ball snapped, and what I do next, the first thing I do as he's coming off the ball is take what we call a power step, okay? Now this is why my feet were staggered before, okay? I take this power step, and I'm in the basic football hit position. 99% of the time, this is the position you wanna be in when you're playing football. 
okay? If I take a big step like this, he comes into me, walls me off, there goes the ball carrier for 10 yards, okay? Now, when he comes out, I take my step, now I'm ready to play football. As we engage this, this uh, offensive lineman, we want our focus of attention, our focus of power right up through his face mask. My face is right up through that, and I want to stand him up, okay? Our main thing is getting him stood up. When he's up like this, I guarantee he's not going to push you off the line. If he's down like this, chugging his feet, that's when he's going to get you off the, get you off the line of scrimmage, okay? So as he comes into you, our focus is right there. We go and we put our hips through, okay? Defensive line play is right here in the butt and in the hips, okay? We get him away from us. Get those hips in through and all that focus up through his face. I guarantee you, you stick him in the head and in the face and stand him up, he's not going to go anywhere. We talked about engaging the blocker, but what we want to do is talk a little bit more about controlling the blocker, okay? Now, as a man comes into you, we talked about taking him on, okay, standing him up, getting our focus up through his head and getting the extension. What we want to do is now we can get that good leverage by getting up here on the, on the uh, shoulder pad and getting this arm straightened out, okay? Now, we don't necessarily need this hand to be up in here. I think it's even a little more beneficial to maybe get right in here, and as he tries the wall, we just keep that arm uh, extended, and we're behind him just a little bit, okay? We don't want to be out in front of him here, because then the guy cuts back on us, he's going to wall us back off. So what we're doing, we've got the control in here, he's trying to hook us, the ball carrier's coming, okay? Now when this man is far enough outside, okay, outside of me, that I know he's not going to cut back on me, then I get rid of the guy and square up the best I can, get my head across in front of him. now is go a little bit more into the pass rush, okay? Now, the stance is a little bit different, okay? And we're more in a sprinter's type of stance. We erase all the other thoughts out of our mind. We know it's like third and long. We know they're going to pass the football. That's all they can do. And uh, this is when you have a little bit of fun playing defensive line is getting to the quarterback. Talked about before, toe to instep or toe to heel. We're going to forget about that. We're going to get in whatever feels most comfortable for you to sprint 10 yards or 8 yards. That's basically what you're going to do. You're going to get off the ball. It's all quickness. We don't even need to concentrate originally on the offensive lineman. You're going to get down in here, whatever feels comfortable. Get that back leg back a little bit. Okay, we're angling in and looking down on the ball. Okay, we don't have to look at this guy now. We want to get off on the ball as quick as we can. Foot's back a little further, a little narrower base. Ready to go, just in a sprinter stance, we're going to take off. What this man is trying to do is get in front of you, okay? He wants you to square up, and he wants all this, this area here to be able to block you, okay? Now, what's easier to block all this area here, big wide chest I have, or this one little shoulder, okay? It's a lot easier to block this than this, okay? So all I want to give him is this shoulder. And as he comes, and he's waiting for you, he's got to take you on somewhere. It's usually a couple yards. You dip that shoulder and get it into him, try to get in there, and then just lift up and rip on past him. talk about something I like using a little bit more and that's finesse. Now, a little more finesse is you were trying to make a move to get him to do something to get him a little bit off balance and then you take advantage of that. What he wants to do and we all know it is he wants to get a hold of you and grab you okay he wants to hold you. What I like to do is give him a little fake as you come off say well I'm gonna make him think I'm going inside so I go like that he's got to take a step see how he took a step and that's when you come back Take advantage of that. The main thing we want to do is get our shoulder pad behind his shoulder pad. Once I'm here, we got him. Okay, 
Okay, now what I'm going to do now is give you one drill, and there's many. I mean, I could stand out here all day and tell you about a million drills you could go through, okay? But I'm going to give you one drill that I really think can help you, and it's something you can do in your backyard. Now, I, if there's one thing I got across in teaching you here is to keep your shoulders parallel, and this drill will, keep, it will teach you to do that, okay? So I need some, an area that's probably, you know, a pretty good area here where I can shuffle for five yards and then I can burst. We call this a starburst drill. What I'm going to do is shuffle five yards, like at about five yards, what I'm going to do is burst, like I'm getting to the ball carrier. What I'll do is I'll do that all the way around the spectrum, as fast as I can, but yet under control. I'm shuffling over here, I get to this position, and then I burst. And like I said, it's a conditioning thing, as well as teaching you to keep your shoulders parallel to that point, and then you're bursting to the guy that's carrying the ball. Okay, now what I want to do now is just to give you one safety tip. Okay, and it's not really a tangible thing that I can tell you to do, like keep your head up or something like that. It's just one word, basically, and that's hustle. So when you're on the football field, be going 100%, and your chance of injury, you'll be surprised at how much it goes down. If you're running to the ball carrier and getting your legs up and doing the things you need to be hustling, your body's going to be going through the air. It's not going to be stationary. You're not going to be planted, and that's when you're going to get hurt. So when you're on the football field, I want you to go 100%, hustling to the ball carrier, and you'll be surprised at how much the chance of injury will, will cut down.